Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. So today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, quick shout out to Marcus Creation for leaving a comment on the YouTube channel. And he asked a question. What exactly is my setup for doing my drawing videos? So I'm going to give you a quick run through of all the, uh, the parts that I, I have. And I, they're all things that I bought on Amazon. And just as a disclaimer, I'm not getting paid by Amazon or by any of the companies that make these items to promote them. I'm just showing you what I use and you know how it's been working for me. So what we're looking at here is my drawing table in the room in our house that I use as my studio area. So you know this is my drawing table setup and I have had this drawing table probably since I was in high school. I think my parents bought it for me when I was about 16 or 17 and it's traveled with me to college and then back home and to just about every place I've ever lived in. And it still holds up and I have no plans to get rid of it. So, you know, it's just a simple swivel uh, angled table, drafting table. All right, so the first things first, what I use to actually hold my iPhone, which, you know, I would just put my camera on a tripod, but the thing that I use to make these drawing videos I, is what I'm gonna show you. So I holding the video, the camera, I can't really show it to you at the same time as putting in a tripod. So the first thing I have is a clamp. This clamp right here, this was, I think about $5 on Amazon. It's an Ivation um, smartphone clamp. It's not just for iPhones. If I can show you here, basically there's springs inside these two little bars and I don't want to grab the, the end because it'll pull the whole drawing stand. But this thing will, will angle out, so it'll hold an iPhone or some larger smartphones. I don't know if it'll hold an iPhone uh, 6 Plus, but this thing, you just put your phone into it in a horizontal position, and it'll clamp and hold it there. And that thing is about five bucks, it's from Ivation. So that's the first piece that I use. And I've tried other iPhone clamps in the past. This one I found is the one that works the best for me. It feels very stable and secure. And I never worry about my phone falling off of it. Now the next thing is this metal stud here. This is by Manfredo. They make a lot of camera equipment, a lot of camera arms and camera stands. And this little brass piece here was $5. And the reason why I needed to get it is because if I unscrew this a little bit and show you, The Ivation clip is just this, $5 little metal clip. As you can see, it's a female piece, meaning it's the opening for a screw and the screw itself is a male piece. Now the other end of the camera arm that I have is also female, so I needed a male male piece in order to connect them. So I had to buy this piece separately. This was only $5, it's a little brass metal nut, and that's all this. It just has the male piece that's on this side, it has a duplicate one on the other side to screw into the arm. So those are the first two pieces I have. Let me screw this back on here. God damn, this is a bitch to do with one hand. Should've got my wife in here to hold the camera while I did this whole video. But you know what, you get what you get. Okay, I paused the video so you didn't have to see how much me struggle to um, to screw that back on with one hand. Anyway, so Ivation iPhone clamp, Manfredo um, male male um, adapter. Now the next thing is a Manfredo camera arm. This one is an adjustable camera arm. It actually has both, and as a, you can adjust the angle here to turn this uh, camera. The, the camera arm up and down, you can rotate it left and right. So it gives you a pretty good range of positioning that you can do to adjust the camera. In addition to that, it's got one of these, the same connector over here in the middle, so you can move the arm in like, you know, up, down, left, right, rotate, all three, all the X, Y, and Z axes. So you can get it, you can turn your camera at, you know, particular angles if you want. You can also slide this up the hole and that one down to make this shorter if you need to. So you've got you know that adjustment there in the middle and then this adjustment there at the end. So it's pretty handy for being able to move your camera around to all kinds of awkward positions that you need. 
Um, this piece was actually the most expensive piece in the whole set. This was about $32, I think, on Amazon. Um, ironically, I really think I probably need a camera arm that's a little bit longer than I have because the challenge I have when I'm doing these drawing videos, most of the time you're seeing me draw from this angle. This is the camera basically right next to where the, uh, the camera arm is. The trouble I have is finding an angle that's as close to being where my head is as possible so you can really get a view from my angle, but also at the same time being able to position it high enough and off to the side enough that it doesn't get in the way and I don't bump into it with my head while I'm drawing. So it's almost like trying to find something that could be right next to my head, but at the same time not distract me from doing my own work so I can focus on drawing. Um, and I think what would help is if I had one that was maybe just six inches longer so that way I could have it a little bit higher up and a little bit more over my shoulder. But at the same time, I haven't really run out to, to spend any extra money on it for now because, you know, I've got a set that's working up and most artists are budget minded. Um, we're not trying to just spend money just to spend it. Um, what I have now is working for me and at some point I may get a longer arm, but this will do for now. Um, the next piece I have is from Cowboy Studio. It is a Cowboy Studio light stand, and this light stand goes down behind my drawing table. Now, I hope you don't get motion sick. As I back out here, I'm gonna go and show you underneath my drawing table where it's set. The lower half of it is down here. So underneath my drawing table, let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing. The rest of the stand comes down below there. You can also see in the corner that little pink ball, that's one of the fuzzy, uh, crunchy balls that are our cat toys. My cats love to sit under the table while I'm drawing, um, occasionally batting and, you know, jostling the light stand a little bit. So sometimes the camera's being shake, you know, shaky because I'm bumping into it. Sometimes it's being shaky because the cats are bumping into it. Anyway, that's down there. And as you look up, you can see it goes up underneath here. Now, in the past, I have tried positioning this light stand, instead of putting it up here, behind the drawing table, I've positioned it over here, to the left of the drawing table, so it's kind of looking over my shoulder. I've tried it to the left and to the right, and the thing I find is that no matter where I have it positioned, it's so close to me that I bump it a little bit. And the thing is, yes, I could get a larger, larger camera arm to get it, to, to view, but then I would need to also get a larger base and a larger stand or put sandbags on it, because if I have a longer, arm that's viewing over my shoulder, it's also more top heavy, I meaning it's more likely to tip over if I bump it even a little bit. So for now, I've been sticking with the setup I have and putting it behind the table, I think I bump it just as much as I do when I have it to the side of the table or out in front. Like sometimes I would put it kind of sitting right here in this open space. I think I bump it just as much here, if not more, when I have it in front of me you know, behind the table, but it gives me that angle that I really want, which is feeling like it's looking right over my, uh, right over my shoulder. This may not be permanent, because like I said, I've moved it from behind the table to back here. I may decide sometime in the future to start putting it back in front again. So like I said, that was $18 on Amazon, and, you know, it has done me well. It's very useful. And then one other piece over here. Now, this piece is not part of the current setup, and I'll tell you why. This is also from Cowboy Studio. This one is called a Cowboy Studio Gorilla Clamp. And basically, it's a desk clamp that has a male piece at the end. Now, this is, you know, you, you can just clamp it to a desk or, a, you know, a wall or anything that's sort of like, you know, less than, than two inches thick. You can just kind of like unscrew it and clamp it on there and attach your camera to it. So it's pretty versatile. And I bought this to attach to my drawing table as you see here. The problem is that because the, the nut that's sticking out of it goes straight out this way, it means that in order to attach it to this arm, I would have to pull my drawing table out probably another it seems like the space would only be two or three inches, but I really have to pull it out probably four or five so it's not banging into the wall. And I really prefer having my table kind of pushed into the corner. It just feels weird to have my drawing table sticking out, you know, so much farther. Maybe I might get over that and decide I want to try it some other way. 
Um, I, again, I'm always experimenting with my setup. The other, the reason why I've kept it though and not taken it back to or sent it back, returned it, is because I find that this thing is really good for when I'm drawing someplace other than home. I, you know, sometimes I'll hang out with friends and I do a lot of comic work also when, you know, I'm at my day job during my lunch. And I find that there's lots of times where I have stuff that I wish I could record for a drawing video, but I don't have a clamp to, to you know, mount my phone onto. I thought with this, I can clamp it onto a smaller drawing board that I keep in the trunk of my car, put my drawings on it, and I can use that. So I use it like if I'm going out to dinner with, like a casual art dinner, where it's not going to be weird for a bunch of friends to be drawing and me video or taping stuff. Um, you know, so it gives me some more mobility. And again, like I said, depending on how I change my setup, I may start using that to attach the um, the larger Manfredo camera arm to instead of the clamp that's back there. But still, I'm always going to need this stand because let's say that I'm going to work on a painting or I'm going to be do something away from my drawing table that I want to record, I'm definitely going to need that stand. So both of them are useful. Um, I'm using the stand more right now as opposed to the uh, the Gorilla clamp, but you know they're both good stuff. You know, I'm pretty happy with them. And uh, real quick, I'll pause it and take the camera stand out from behind so you can get a good look at it, you know, not behind the table. Also over here to the side of my drawing table, I've got, um, to the far left are my vellum layouts that I'm working on for Morningstar. I just, as I finish a page, I clip it to the wall. If I need to go look at a page for reference, I go, you know, flip through and, you know, pull whatever page I need, look at whatever the reference is, Oh, then clip them back up. So I've just got like a, a tack into the wall and then a binder clip holding them. Then over here are my uh, my layouts. My you know when you see me do all those drawing videos of my layouts in ink, that's it. Just doing them on eight and a half by eleven. And when I'm done, I clamp them here. I actually also keep a photocopy of these in my work bag. That way, if I'm out drawing, here's my work bag with a bunch of reference sitting on top of it. But you know when I'm not at home and I'm drawing, I keep a uh, photocopies of those layouts. That way I don't have to worry about losing them, but I've always got them there so I can work from wherever. Because as you know, productivity for an artist is hard, and I find that removing it, the excuse of I'm not at home and I'm not at my studio keeps me more productive and more focused. So one of my biggest drawing tips I'll tell you is try to remove any excuses you have for not doing art. Find the things that are getting in your way and stopping you from doing it, and create workarounds for those so you can keep being productive. Okay, so and the last thing just to be thorough here, this is the Cowboy Studio light stand with the camera arm, you know, separate out in front of the, uh, the drawing table so you can see what the whole thing looks like. This camera stand is adjustable. Let me come down off the step here. This thing actually can raise up, let me see, I don't know, I think the max height that it can go up is like six feet eight feet, um, something like that. It can go up pretty high. So it's also adjustable and can shrink down to like a short three foot stand. So depending on how you're filming your stuff and how you want to set it up, you know, it's pretty agile. But again, like with any light stand, you got to remember the higher you put it up, the more top heavy it's going to be. So if you have an arm hanging out to the side, the weight of the, uh, the arm plus the camera, the phone in it, can very easily pull the whole thing over. So if you're going to be having something that's really tall or you know a heavier camera on here, because this is a camera arm, so if, depending on how you bolt something here, you could use something, you know, a, a DSLR camera, whatever type of camera you have, a video recorder, or a camcorder. If you want to use some other attachment, this thing I think is durable enough to hold it, but you're going to have to put sandbags on these legs in order to keep it stable. You know, and also when I'm not using it, I will loosen this arm a little bit. What I do is when I have it behind my drawing table, I'll just raise it, loosen it a little bit more. I'll just raise it so it's pointing straight up and then it's kind of out of my way while I draw. You know, because again, it, having something that's right next to your head while you're drawing can be distracting. When I'm doing it with the drawing videos, I kind of try to not think about it and just focus on the drawing. But when I'm not using it, it's easier to just have nothing there and just focus on it. That's it for now. Check out my website, OpticHouse.com. If you enjoy these videos, please share them. 
Also, sign up for my weekly newsletter to get a free digital download and see what else I'm working on. Go be creative.